I'm going to use the magic wand tool to just select everything around the character and then inverse that selection. So this way content aware fill will just operate within this character. And to do that, selecting the magic wand, selecting the mask layer, clicking out where the mask has been drawn out. I'll shift click to add this region. I'll shift click to add this region. Then going under select inverse, we'll flip around the mask, which will only include the person. Switch to the background layer by clicking on it. Turning off this top layer, don't want it to interfere what we're seeing. And then going under edit, fill, and content aware fill, and click OK. So it gave us a result, and if you're using Photoshop, you'll have more control over this result. Here, I could turn back on this top layer. We have a person, but this region that I selected for here might accidentally show through. I'm going to use the cloning tool, which is this tool. And the way the cloning tool works is you roll over a region and let me increase the brush size by control clicking and right clicking and increasing it. You option click or alt click on a region to start as the source material. Let's say around here. And now with this source material selected, when I start brushing, it's starting from that point. Since there will be a person blocking this, keep on pressing the option or alt key to select the new source area. And since the person will be blocking, it doesn't have to be perfect just a little better than this mishmash of selection. And you don't want to destroy the original information that's there. So we're avoiding the pixels like here and here as much as possible because that information is good. It's just only where the person is that we need to repair. So I'm going to select this and just draw out a straight line going across then select it again a little further back. Option click there, move it here and draw it forward. Luckily, the wall is kind of this crack look. So what we do, we could be very loose about it. Don't have to be so worried. And also, we don't really have to be worried because this person dominates here. We just need it to hold up a little bit in case in After Effects we want to pan around. Just so when you're done being an artist, let's export this image. File export as and I'll save this background with all the other layers but this background layer turned off and I'll just save it as a PNG again. Turn that save to wherever browsers download your files to and also I'll save this whole thing as a PSD just in case you want to come back and work on it. Save as PSD and the PSD will open up just like the original image opens up. Just drag it in here and go under File, Open, and select the PSD file.